ladies and gentlemen, we've got four days left in cancer season, and mental health-wise, I'm hanging on for dear life. I'm lonely, and in my feelings, talking to you about my emotions and actions concerning Planetary Defense Commander matters, and how we are now just beyond the halfway point of 2021, and things continue to get crazier. How are you? And the future, which feels like now, is definitely a bit weird and dangerous. And right now, the most clear and present danger for a large number of people happens to be happening over the pond in Europe. We watched as Germany and Belgium got hit with super duper catastrophic horrible flooding that killed over hundreds of people. And now today it's hitting Austria. I mean, we're looking at extremely devastating flooding that has been ripping through Europe for the last few days. And we have been on the lookout for flooding with Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces since the middle of May. And Jupiter will retrograde back into Aquarius on July 28th, which is like 11 days away. And so that'll be another big energy transfer. So it's like we almost never get a break. It would seem like Asteroid Fight Club wise. Right now the Gulf is quiet, as is the Atlantic. But in the Pacific, Felicia rolls on as a Category 4 hurricane, putting fishes in the dangers. We had a 6.3 earthquake hit Chile, or Panama, earlier. It's 9.61 kilometers deep. I haven't seen any reports of casualties or building collapses yet, so that's good news. But let's wait a day or two to see if any reports come in. We got a full moon coming in to kick off Leo season on the 23rd, which is usually the hottest part of the season. So we'll be on the lookout then for major fires, volcano eruptions, and the worst of the heat waves from like July 23rd through August. I have to lose 50 pounds by May 2022. Typing that makes me want a beer. And sadly, I've never been rich enough to afford an ex-wife. There are two new sunspots growing on the sun, so we may be entering. The Scott Mashintosh talked about Terminator Point to where Solar Cycle 25 totally kicks into super gear, but we'll have to pay attention because it's my belief. Nobody knows what the sun is going to do next. But right now we have this sunspot, that sunspot, that sunspot, and then these two could be growing as new which in a very short amount of time would mean you'd have five sunspots on the Earth-facing disk. Jupiter has retrograded back to the same degree it was January 2nd, and it's no surprise that Bitcoin is pretty much at the exact same price it was January 2nd. This was it, January 2nd. It was at um, January 2nd, 2021. It was at 32,000. And right now it's at 32,000. And so, and it maxed out at like 62,000, 63,000. So if it follows the Jupiter retrograde period, it will be back under 20,000 within a month. But will it bust high when Jupiter enters back into Aquarius or bust down to the low side when Jupiter enters back into Aquarius? We shall see. I would take guesses, but crypto guys aren't really nice to me. So what's the point? Huh? I sounded like a whiny bitch there. I apologize for that. I do try to do what I can to be cool. But sometimes, I'm human. And, I was thinking about this earlier. I am overweight. I was thinking, so that means gluttony is one of my sins. But at the end of the day, because I like cheese and cupcakes, does that make me really a super bad sinner? Because I definitely like cheese and frosting. Dude, I'm back into the bad habit of eating frosting out of can. I'm going to stop that real soon, though, because I, as I announced, I now have to lose 50 pounds by May 22nd. So that's when Thor Love and Thunder comes out. I need to stay on schedule. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, I told y'all I lost my mind at the beginning of this thing, and I, my communication skills may be emotional garbage for the next 
four and a half days. And for that, I apologize. Strong to severe thunderstorms are plowing through the mid-Atlantic on Saturday night, bringing heavy downpours, gusty winds, and hail. So you got fog and heat up here. You got flood warnings and watches here, here, and then definitely up in there. You're getting some pretty good lightning up in the northeast as these storms are rolling on through. What's it to ya? Everybody calm down. Here we're looking at mixed precipitation. And it's precipitating on through. And this shows, whoa, sorry. This shows California getting a good deal of rain, which they haven't seen quite a bit of time. I mean, not too much, but any rain would be good nowadays, I would guess. And the sun's been going just bing bong bing with coronal mass ejections. Quite a few coming out the backside. The most impressive ones, anyway. Elon Musk put Doge of Doge coin in his Twitter avatar picture. And that caused Doge coin to spike up to 20 cents. But it's now gone back to 18 cents. But it was at like 17 spent cents when he changed his avatar. So you want to talk about having superpowers. Elon has a superpower to drive Doge coin up at, at will. Which, you know, is weird. But whatever. To each their own, I guess. Doggy coin. Doggy coin. He'll get your money like frog or boing. Get it? Spins a web. Makes you believe. I was trying to sing it. Was that Batman or Spider-Man? I forget. Anyway, here's a look at the backside. Coronal mass ejection that I think just happened. or was just from the 15th. This brought to us by Ari Gioris. Boom. That's the 15th. That's pretty great. Erupt. I agree with Ari. That's pretty great. Looking. Coronal mass ejection. Yo. Crazy days indeed for you and me. I remember, most of Europe is kind of fighting with each other and arguing, and they aren't exactly having the easiest time dealing with the pandemic, either. We are expecting hurricane season to light back up in August, so there is a chance that we will get to the peak of fire season and the peak of hurricane season about the same time. So it is definitely possible sometime in like the second or third week of August um, we'll be getting hit with a hurricane and super nasty wildfires. Plus, we've been playing the Volcano Advent Calendar game all year long where we get a new volcano eruption. And at the beginning of July, was that one in the Caspian Sea. Boom. So which one will August be? Let me try and do something if I can. This is the coronavirus, the first little wave, second wave, and then down, all right? This is the 1918 flu, where you have your first little wave, and then you have your big wave, and then your second winter, you have your second wave, which is about half the strength of the middle wave, all right? So whether you like it or not, we're going to get a wave probably somewhere between this height and here, probably here. We'll probably get to about 3,000 deaths a day. Definitely over 2,000 by the time we get to the end of this year. All right? So, like, we are here now. We're here. Or here we're here now. And we're starting to tick up, and that's where it's going. And so, no matter what you think, what it, like, this is what it's going to look like about eight months from now. So... There ain't no arguing about it. Like, that's what I said was going to happen in the end of January and February. We were pretty much tracking along the 1918 Spanish flu lines. And so that is how it's going to be. First wave, second wave, and then somehow the third one will come in between 3,000 and 2,000. And we're probably going to be arguing the whole time. So I, I, I thought I'd try to put it as simply as possible. You can, you guys can argue about the semantics if you want, but that's just what I'm going with, man. And then the Olympics is going to be a cluster fudge, and like everything's going to be a cluster fudge. Like every town, state, nation, corporation deals with it differently. So just be prepared for it to be a giant 
all the chickens have their heads cut off and are running around tweeting at everybody. This is a picture of female Wolverine's butt. Man, I want to go to the top of some of these buildings and drink, drink, smoke cigarettes. Flash flood warning. New York, New Jersey, 12 a.m. Convective risk. My Lanza left Houston to chase lightning in New Jersey. Zip zap pow. I'm taking it one day at a time, one second at a time, one event at a time, one breath at a time. And we got a washed out bridge in Connecticut. So remember, I said it was going to be super floody when Jupiter went into Pisces with Neptune. And then Jupiter's retrograding back into Aquarius. Hopefully the floods will lessen. And then, but Jupiter will re-enter into Pisces again and stay there as it plows through Pisces from like December of 2021 through the middle of 2022. So we know ahead of time that like this, those seven months are going to be super floody. We're going to get a break for like four months and then we should go back to the super floody again. So we, we know that ahead of time. Hopefully we'll do better dealing with it. Apparently the new chemical treatment ride at Six Flags Park in Texas Hurt, burned the eyes, made you sick. It was no fun. Oh, wait a second. I heard that wrong. It was not an intended ride where they put you in chemicals on purpose. It was they had a chemical incident. More than 60 people treated after a chemical incident at Six Flags Water Park in Texas. So, yeah, that had to be a bummer. You're like, man, I'm going out. I'm going to risk all the stuff. And then you get hit with a chemical incident. I don't think I've been to a Comic-Con in like 20 years. When I went, it was only dudes. Now, I should probably go now that ladies like to go. You got the bootleg fire, the Dixie fire, the Tamarack fire. So yeah, cancer seasons got me an emotional wreck. Drowning in my feelings. Smoke them if you got them. Beautiful. I'm hanging out with you. You're hanging out with me. We are together digitally. I'm losing it. But I lose it with style, and I must always get it back, eventually. Hey man, Democrats are trying to pass a bill that would end the prohibition of pot, the federal prohibition, and honestly, I'm like, all right, all right, all right, let's get high and stay awesome. You know, let's put aside our political differences, sit down at the peace pipe, find common ground. So this is what I'm talking about. January 2nd, they're kind of over the January 2nd, January 1st energy that Jupiter is taking us back through. And on that exact same bridge, they used to have a war where people would write like Biden 2020 or Trump 2020. So the message is stay awesome, stay cool, play defense, be smart. Yeah, I still think somehow we are going to make it out alive at the end of 2021. And if you're feeling kind of crazy too, that's okay because apparently cancer season has been doing a number on a lot of people. Sarah, please, I know cancer season is rough on y'all, and I'm sorry, just imagine being one, it never stops. That would imply that dating Selena Gomez would, would not always be fun in games. But I'm probably dumb enough to take a chance either way. If the opportunity ever presented itself, all right, Moira Rose Stan account, at this point, I'm willing to pay cancer season to get its ass out of here. Well, that's not how it works, but I feel your sentiment. Only like 100 hours left. It really rained the whole cancer season. Cry baby asses. That's hilarious. Please, cancer season has F me up. Can we start pre-gaming for Leo season? Technically, I think that's what I'm doing now. Like going, okay, all this emotional feeling, everybody losing it, crap should end in four days. And we all get more lion-esque cancer season mad long and boring boring is debatable yeah we just had uh the sun in cancer opposite pluto and capricorn and you know pluto energy is always super weird and so let's try and do some good shit with it man we're almost out of the worst crap asterisk we know it's gonna be crazy but you know, we're looking towards november to be super red alert crazy for lots of reasons, hundreds of reasons, but why are we still in cancer season? Cancer season is taking some of y'all down real hard. Stay safe out there. Laughing my fat ass off. <laughs> you know, cancer season got me out here wanting to cry in a bus. And these are pretty much all of them. Like, this cancer season hasn't been nice to anyone. But there's going to be somebody in 
you know, my thing has been like, man, the last month is great. Cancer season has been a two pack of ass. Oh, it's better than a six pack of ass, I guess. Everybody waiting for cancer season to end for Leo season. Yeah, me and my buddy H, the other half of my band, Silver Blue Sun, we usually go to the ocean because he's a Leo. So we usually go to the ocean uh, to kick off can uh, lion season, Leo season. Hopefully we'll do that again this year. But yeah, why is cancer season so long enough already? Cancer season, I'm convinced, is the worst of all. Enough of cancer season. Give me Leo. I'm feeling it. And Eris even said that. Eris is like, man, I've had enough of this shit. That's hilarious. All right. I am your planetary defense commander, Star-Lord, Newthor, 7, the T. I don't make the rules, and I don't even have a rule book. You know? I mean, other than the basics, which I abide by at all times. Okay. Seriously. Stay cool. God bless everyone. Talk to you all in the near future. Peace out.